Ranger Team Echo, this is Ranger Command. Come in. Roger, Echo One. Just making sure your radio is working. I'll be your dispatcher from here on out. I also wanted to give you a little heads up on your water situation. If you've all got full canteens, you should have enough water to reach the place where Ace died with plenty to spare. But if you're going to go exploring, you'll want to fill up again at any oasis you can find. Remember, your main priority is to recover the repeater units Ace was carrying. Once you've got the devices, you'll be headed to Ag Center and High Pool to install them. But we'll talk about that after you acquire the repeaters. We must, of course, bring Ace's killers to justice. But right now, that's secondary to discovering the location of that signal. It is vital that all teams stay in radio contact with me here at the base. We get distress calls from all over our jurisdiction and sometimes beyond. Towns or farms or mines being attacked by raiders, mutant beasts, what have you. We field those calls here and then dispatch whichever team is closest to the problem. Until now, Woodson's been our dispatcher. But Ace's death made me realize I've spent too many years in my office, walled off from the world and how it's changing. I need to know what's going on out there, and I figure the best way to do that is to start listening to the people's problems. So, I've decided that from now on, I'll be the one fielding calls and talking in your ear when you head out into the wastes. Don't let that make you self-conscious or nothing. 10-4 Echo-1, carry on. Ranger Command out. Citadel base, can you repeat? Did you say the plants were attacking? Yes, goddammit, the plants! Something's gone wrong with the... Oh, ah, the door! They're breaking down the door! Fall back! Fall back! Ranger Team Echo, this is Ranger Command. Come in. Did you copy those distress calls from High Pool and Ag Center? Over. Roger that. Listen, Echo One, I have no one else in the area and no further intel at this time. I'm afraid it's going to have to be your decision which call to respond to first. Whichever one you choose, get there ASAP. Both situations are emergencies, and both sounded like they were deteriorating rapidly. While the repeaters are still alpha-level priority, civilian emergencies have to come first before heading back out to get the repeaters. Sending you the coordinates for both locations now. Copy. Uh-huh. Suspicious, isn't it, Echo One? Like someone's monitoring our transmissions and trying to stop our little radio experiment before it starts. Keep an eye out for suspect characters. Copy. 10-4, Echo-1. Godspeed.
Roger, Echo One. Then listen, I know I said the radio tower was at the top of your to-do list, but you need to deal with the emergency situation first, before heading back out to get the repeaters. Repeat, talk to Kathy Lawson and take care of her emergency. Then continue with your mission to find and hook up the repeaters. Protecting civilians is always a ranger's number one priority. Do you copy? Roger, Echo One. Advise when complete. Ranger Command out. Okay, this is bad. This is kill it with fire bad. What the hell caused this?
Candy ass. Hello? By the doors, can you hear me? What the hell was that? Did you idiots Looks like the pods are triggered by right sudden movement. Of the door? Copy Echo One. This is Ranger Command. Go ahead. Over. Copy Echo One. Appreciate the update.
I can handle this myself.
better be the damn rangers. We've been calling for help for hours. The plants have gone crazy. Yes, we need help. What have I been saying? I'm opening the doors now. What are you waiting for? Come inside! Rangers, where have you been? Ms. Lawson, meet the new recruits. Recruits, meet Ms. Lawson. Forget the friendly introductions, Angie. Wasn't the deal we made with the Rangers? We give you food, you give us protection. Well, your recruits are looking pretty goddamn well fed, but we've been up to our tits in killer tomatoes for eight hours and not a Ranger in sight. You should take it from here, recruits. Learning to deal with angry citizens is part of the job. As if the rest of this craziness wasn't enough, the plants are also starting to explode. Get too close to one of those red pods and bam! Huh. Come to think of it, everyone who's changed into one of those pod people got blasted first. If I could get one of those pods to study, intact, I might be able to come up with a cure. You'll need, I suppose, a handful of fragments of pods. Let's say 10 would do the trick if you can't manage to collect a whole one. If we don't find a cure, the infection will surge back and we'll all be dead. About time. Now listen, we think the mutations stem from contamination in our irrigation system. Unfortunately, the computer that operates the pumps seems to be malfunctioning and we can't shut it off remotely. Maybe its circuits are overloaded from all the alarms going off. The computer is down the corridor past the airlock behind us. I can open that lock, but if you're gonna do your job and rescue our guys, see Rose. She has the current override codes for the greenhouse airlocks. Either way, we'll lead you to the computer room eventually. If you can get the computer working, you can shut down the pumps from there. If not, you'll have to go into the east and west fields and turn off the valves by hand. Now get going before any more of my people die. Yes, go, do your job. I'll open the central airlocks for you now, but remember, we might have people trapped in the greenhouses, so talk to Rose for the door codes. <laughs> 